Access to Medicine Index, Wikipedia Article Audio The Access to Medicine Index is a ranking system published biennially since 2008 by the Access to Medicine Foundation in Harlem, the Netherlands, an international not-for-profit organization, funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the UK Department for International Development and the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It ranks the world's 20 largest pharmaceutical companies according to their ability to make their pharmaceutical drugs more available, affordable, accessible, and acceptable in 107 low-to-middle-income countries. The Biennial Index aims to stimulate industry to improve access in developing countries, to show the activities of their peers, and allow them, governments, investors, civil society, patient organizations and academia to gather and form a common view of how pharmaceutical companies can make further progress. The Latest Access to Medicine Index published in November 2016, ranked the top 20 pharmaceutical companies as follows. Ranking History The Access to Medicine Index was developed starting in 2004 on the initiative of Dutch entrepreneur Wim Leervelt. After years of working with the pharmaceutical industry, he concluded that simply naming and shaming the industry did not do enough to encourage pharmaceutical companies to play their part in improving access to medicine in the developing world. Leervelt noticed that there were many different opinions about what the pharmaceutical industry should be doing with regard to access to medicine, but that there was no tool to recognize good practice within the pharmaceutical industry and no framework for collective dialogue surrounding this issue. He set out to develop a ranking system that would show which pharmaceutical companies do the most to improve access to medicine and how, and also help stakeholders to collectively define companies' role in increasing access to medicine. The first Access to Medicine Index was published in 2008, followed by a new index every two years. The 2015 methodology for the 2016 Access to Medicine Index was published in October 2015. The Access to Medicine Index uses a weighted analysis to capture and compare data which the companies provide. The framework is constructed along seven areas of focus called technical areas, which cover the range of company business activities considered relevant to access to medicine. Within each area, the index assesses four aspects of company action called strategic pillars, commitments, transparency, performance, and innovation. Company Scope The Access to Medicine Index ranks 20 of the world's largest originator pharmaceutical companies, based on market capitalization and the relevance of their product portfolios to diseases in the developing world. One unlisted company, Beringer Ingelheim, is also included since it meets the size and portfolio relevance criteria. Methodology in 2008 and 2010, the Access to Medicine Index also measured companies engaged exclusively in the production of generic drugs. Based on feedback from the 2011 stakeholder consultations, these companies were excluded from the 2012 index and subsequent iterations. The Access to Medicine Foundation stated that it recognized that these companies play a significant role in access to medicine, particularly in low- and middle-income countries. Geographic Scope Scope The Access to Medicine Index focuses on low- and middle-income countries, based on World Bank classifications measuring economic advancement, human development, and relative levels of inequality. And United Nations the 2016 index measured developments in a total of 107 countries, 
including countries considered to be low-income and lower-middle-income countries by the World Bank, and least developed countries as defined by the United Nations Economic and Social Council. In addition, countries classified as low human development countries and medium human development countries by the UN Human Development Index are included. Finally, based on the UN Inequality Adjusted Human Development Index, the index includes countries which while they may have higher measures of development, have comparatively high levels of socio-economic inequality. Disease Scope The Access to Medicine Index covers a range of diseases based on their aggregate global disease burden and their relevance to pharmaceutical interventions, in accordance with non-age-weighted WHO disability-adjusted life years data. Those diseases for which pharmaceutical interventions were irrelevant are excluded. In the 2016 index, the disease scope will consist of a combination of the following. Reception Product type scope Criticism To reflect the range of available product types for prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of diseases, the index maintains a broad product type scope which draws closely from definitions provided by the G-Finder report. Since its inception, the Access to Medicine Index has progressed to be a frequently cited and authoritative benchmark for pharmaceutical companies with regard to their access to medicine initiatives. In addition to global media outlets reporting on the Access to Medicine Index and its findings, Significant coverage includes The results of the Access to Medicine Index are largely based on company data provided by the pharmaceutical companies themselves. Self-reported data does carry with it an inherent risk, but the Access to Medicine Index also uses dependable external sources to verify data provided by the companies wherever possible. Additionally, it is in companies' best interest to be as forthcoming as possible, as they are A rated by the index on their degree of transparency and B rated on their performance every two years, so that failures to meet their commitments and slash or inconsistencies over time are likely to be uncovered. Besides, as drug access is only one dimension of the corporate social responsibility within the pharmaceutical industry, it would not be reasonable to evaluate the CSR practices of pharmaceutical companies only using this index. The top 10 communicable diseases based on Dallas from the WHO Global Health Observatory 2012 Daily Estimates, the top 12 non-communicable diseases based on Dallas from the WHO Global Health Observatory 2012 Daily Estimates, 17 of the WHO neglected tropical diseases, 9 Maternal and Neonatal Health Conditions Identified by the WHO Global Health Observatory In addition, the index captures activity on contraceptives. In July 2008, Bill Gates mentioned the Access to Medicine Index in an interview with Time magazine as an example of an incentive that works to give businesses credit for what they are already doing to address the challenges of access to medicine in developing countries. In 2010, Paul Hunt, the former UN Special Rapporteur on the Right to Health, described the index as a way to measure the pharmaceutical industry's progress in line with human rights obligations. A 2010 UBS report called the Index a tool for investors to assess access to medicine specifically and, where necessary, separately from corporate social responsibility frameworks. Since 2008, the Access to Medicine Index has been repeatedly cited in scientific journals such as the British Medical Journal, The Lancet, and the Pharmaceutical Journal. Data from the 2014 index was used in a study of access to hepatitis C medicines in the Bulletin of the World Health Organization.
a 2014 Deutsche Bank report on pharmaceutical industry investment in malaria and neglected tropical diseases mentioned the index.